Okay guys, here we go again. Um, now we're going to put the, the vermin, uh, quill vermin box, trap box, uh, on, a, on a run. Here we can see a, a, a really classic rat run. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the grass is just down there a little bit. You see a tunnel on through there. Oh, Mr. Ratty's been going through here, an absolute treat. So, uh, be nice to catch that one. Um, he's obviously doing a bit of damage to the, to the young birds about around here. So, let, let's get this up for real and let's let's sort this quill box out, this quill bourbon trap box out. Right, we take the cover off the box. Now, on, on the box, you can see uh, I've also got gloves on. This is a reason I don't like the smell of my hands all over it. We're trying to, to this is, I know it's a new box, but we're trying to catch it as quick as we can. We've got two little bumps on the bottom of that box. This is absolutely ideal. They were put there to, so that you can locate a bit of food in underneath the trap when we put the trap in. It also enables you to put a bit of soil between there and there. So we make the whole box as natural as possible so we can, don't alert Mr. Ratty what's going on. Um, and before before he realizes is all over so let's just get a bit of soil um, and we're going to put in either end and we're going to make this look a bit real so we'll go back here a minute dig a bit of soil out away from the rat run not to disturb him so i'll just get out with my knife get a nice bit of soil pop in there pop in the box that in Bit of rubbish, doesn't matter, they're used to it. Now, what we're going to do now is uh, we've got the soil in either end, look, looks very, very natural. Oh, Mr. Ratty's never going to know what's going to hit him here. Now, we're going to do is put a bit of food in, uh, pop a bit of food in underneath where the trap's going to go. So, here we go, nice bit of maize, Mr. Ratty, enjoy that, won't you? All right, okay. Now I need to get the trap. So here we go with the fen trap again. If you notice this time there's a little bit of a trick. We've got a bit of string here, but you'll see why that's all about in a two seconds. So we set it the same manner. Hold it, be brave. Hold it like that, hold, open it up, and then use gravity. Flick it up like that. That safely catches on, it doesn't matter. Absolutely safe. Now, again, little bit of pressure on that side up with the fingers down with the thumb now the plate is in the trigger position holding it that way anything goes wrong that safety catch has always got it now we catch up the trap holding it downhill again popping it in the box here we go now you can see what the bit of strings about here we go a little bit of string on there so Oops, drop the bolt. So there we go. Now we can see that little bit of string on there. So we know what's going to happen. Whenever Mr. Ratty comes along, he's going to come along there. Oh, sorry, I should have showed you. I'll just do that again. Mr. Ratty's going to come along there, hopefully. He's going to come along there and think this is Christmas all in one. He's going to come along, put his head down on the food. And what is he going to do? Straight on the trap. So here's the, here's the telltale string, we pull the safety catch off so we're ready to go, the trap is now live, no fingers in there again, well away. Put the bolt back on the top, here we go. Now we're going to put the, the, the box, the vermin, quill vermin trap box, in the run, disguise it in, make it look good, so Mr Ratty doesn't know what's going to hit him. So we pick up the box carefully. Here we go. Put it in on his run. Come on, here we go, my little feather. Get the indicator string here. I'm sorry you can't see it, but I'm it is camouflaged in. That's the idea of it. But uh, there's the old thing. Very, very natural. If you want to bend it over, or you've got a few people about, you can grab a bit of rubbish, local rubbish here. Put over the top. Camouflage the box in a bit. And the average person wouldn't see that. Here we got now set up, all ready to go, every day of the week. Now, I don't know if you can see with a video camera, if I can get the video camera to come round, but 
you can see the little telltale string on the end here so I can walk on by without going down on my hands and knees without having to worry as soon as that bit of string goes I know I've got my rat right guys there we go thank you very much indeed for watching